Hello, everybody. How lovely to have you here with us on a brand new week on House of Games. I'm joined by four brand new famous faces. Every time I press this buzzer, a new game will come up. I never know what it's going to be. They never know what it's going to be either. At the end of the week, though, we do know that one of them will be walking away with this awful, awful trophy. <laughs> Who are our players this week? They are Will Kirk, <laughs> Edith Bowman, Fern Brady, and Martin Lewis. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello. Now, before the show, you all said you were quite competitive, which is quite fun. <laughs> Normally, they lie on a Monday. Will. <laughs> yes. A pleasure to have you here. Thanks for having me. In our house, you're known as Handsome Will from the repair shop. <laughs> um, <laughs> how are you at uh, quizzing? Uh, not competitive at all. Oh, liar! So <laughs> Such a liar. liar. <laughs> but are you competitive and good at quizzes or competitive and not very good at quizzes? Because that's what we love. See, I don't want to set myself up for disaster here. So I if I say I'm not competitive yeah. and I'm not very good at quizzes, yes. if I do well, then that's a good thing. I don't want to set my standards too too The key high. thing is not to say that out loud. <laughs> that's the key. Did I just say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Edith. Hi. Edith, now, listen, film and TV and music and all that kind of stuff, you've got all those bases covered. Anything out of it? Really, anything Failure. outside is, is, is not for you. <laughs> I love pub quizzes. I do a lot, well, I used to do a lot of pub quizzes with my mates, but on my own, it's, it's slightly more terrifying. It is slightly more terrifying, yeah, isn't it? Totally. A couple of times you get to team up, that's quite okay, nice. Okay, good. But Thank apart from that, that, it's very much dog eat dog, this show. <laughs> it really is. I mean, very friendly firm, but dog eat dog, that's the key thing. <laughs> Fern, at the end of the week, someone's winning the trophy. Okay, yes. but at the end of every day, we also give away a daily prize. Would yes, you like to take a look? Yes, a fondue kit, I've heard. Yes, please. Oh, yeah, fondue set. I once Absolutely. went to a fondue restaurant in the summer, so that's obviously going to be my choice. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely, lovely boiling hot fondue summer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but stand-up comedians usually win the prizes, Fern. No pressure, but today's prizes are these. There is the robe, the bread bin the coasters, the shower curtain, and the compost bin as well, which is uh, new for this series, but it's proven very popular. Yeah, yeah. I, could, I could do one of those. Yeah, it's like the compost bin. Compost bin. Yeah. It's, people kind of like the compost yeah. bin. Are you just going compost bin? Definitely compost bin. Will, compost bin. Where's the scented candle? I was Listen, to have this is just Monday. Of Richard at home. This is, okay, just, this is just Monday. I'll go for the robe. <laughs> you go for the robe. <laughs> Martin Lewis, the most trusted man on television. The richest man on television as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> listen, you're competitive, surely. I, I am ferociously competitive, Ooh. but I have a major weak spot in that I don't listen to music. So I know oh. nothing about any form of music whatsoever. Uh, by the way, prize, which one do you go for, Martin? Uh, I see myself as a modern-day Noel Coward, so the robe. The robe, of course. <laughs> Shall we play our first round on this week's House of Games? Yes, okay, please. Good luck, one and all. Our first round is going to be... <laughs> Rhyme time. Fingers on buzzers, please. I'll ask you two questions at a time. The answers rhyme with each other. Here we go. Here are your first two. Full name of Marbs in the saying, no carbs before Marbs. And Carrie Fisher's Star Wars character. Martin. Marbella, Princess Leia. Marbella, Princess Leia. Absolutely right. And I like that it is immediately competitive. <laughs> uh, next two. Ancient Greek god of the sky and thunder. And tennis score of 40 all. That's Edith. Oh. I was going to say Thor. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Thor, I'm, I'm... Thor, Is it Thor and tennis score? Yeah, 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 that was it, but yeah, wrong. Oh, Martin beats Will to the buzzer. Zeus and Juice. Zeus and Juice is the answer we were looking for. Zeus and Juice. Good start. A good start. Next two. What is this? And E.M. Forster novel adapted into a 1992 film with Emma Thompson and Anthony Hopkins. Martin. You bend Howard's End. You bend Howard's End. Oh, I'm doomed. It's a Can good start. Him at some point. <laughs> Look at that face. He's so competitive. <laughs> He's enjoying it. Oh, it's you? just a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> Next two. A penultimate word in the NATO phonetic alphabet. And pantomime dame in Aladdin. Edith. Um, treaty. It's oh. incorrect, I'm afraid. Is it? Yeah, as soon as we time you out, the buzzer. Yes, Martin. Yankee Widow tw Twanky. Yankee Widow Twanky. Oh. Is that the right answer, Martin? Well done. Man. We've never had a clean sweep in this round before, I don't think. We can stop him. Here you go, next two. 
What are these? And what is the title of this song? I just think I'm free. Yes, Fern. Conkers, bonkers. Conkers, bonkers. Yeah. Absolutely right, well done. <laughs> See the music one. As soon as it comes to the music, I'm done. <laughs> Always my strongest strength. Uh, and also, con you know, you have the great thing of Conkers Bonkers being the most fun one to say so far as well. Yeah. Bonkers by Dizzy Rascal. Here we are next to. The Sound of Music song about Maria's best loved items. And J.R.R. Tolkien's sequel to The Hobbit. <laughs> yes, Martin. A few of my favourite things, Lord of the Rings. It's not the title of the song. Oh. Ordinarily, I'd give it to you, but I'm not. You're eight nil up. Uh, Edith. These are a few of my favourite things, Lord of the Rings. That's not the title of the I song either, I'm I know the right I'm answer, and how are you getting it so wrong? <laughs> 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 Will. Is it my favourite things, Lord of the Rings? Is it my favourite things, Lord of the Rings? Very well done. Here is your final question of this round. Holiday celebrated in France on the 14th of July. And what is the title of this song? I'm gonna make it anyway. Yes, Martin. Bastille Day, I'm gonna make it any day, anyway. It's incorrect. That is Edith. Bastille Day. <laughs> I might have to time you out. As soon as that goes red, you can buzz. That is Fern. Bastille Day, it's not right, but it's OK. Bastille Day, it's not right, but it's OK? Oh! oh! Well done, Whitney Houston. It's not right, but it's OK. That's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our very first scoreboard of the week. <laughs> Get to take a first look at your avatars as well. Edith, yet to get off the mark. Will, you have one. Fern has two points. Martin oh. Lewis, early leader. Four points, Martin. Well done. <laughs> Shall we just move straight on? Play our first pairs game of the week. Yeah. Yes. And our next round is... <laughs> Distinctly average. Pairs game, Edith, you're currently in fourth. You can choose a partner. Who would you like to play this Martin. round? Martin. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that was quick. That might set the new record for the, the distance between he me quite ending the question knows everything, and someone so, yeah. giving the answer. Okay, so Martin and Edith will be a team. So Fern and Edith, if you'll swap places, please. Fern and Will are a team. Edith and Martin are a team as well. Now, Sorry. tablets out, please. That's fine. <laughs> In distinctly average, I will ask you a question. Write down a number that you think the answer is. Uh, I will take the average of each pair as their answer, OK? And whoever is closest to the correct answer scores a point. Have a little go at home as well. Team up with someone if you wish. Or play by yourself. Here is your first question. On average, how many mobile phone messages do Britons aged between 18 and 24 receive in a year? That includes social media alerts. Between 18 and 24. Huh. Will, what's your thinking? Big. So you've Big. gone for... I've gone for 350,000. 350,000 on average. OK. That feels like a, a thousand. Well, listen, maybe. Why? <laughs> yeah. You know those 18-year-olds always on their phone? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I mean, yeah. Fern, up or down from 350,000? Uh, down, <laughs> okay. quite considerably, and now <laughs> I feel like I've guessed it wrong. Uh, I've gone for 3,000. 3,000, says Fern, which is about eight a day. So either 1,000 a day or eight a day. So between you, your average might be sensational. <laughs> so Will and Fern, your average is 176,000, so about 500 a day. Edith, what was your thinking here? Well, just kind of thinking about 18 to 24 year olds, either, I mean, not all of them, but there's a potential of being at work or uni. So, in terms of how much they're sort of sending. Mm. And then just the idea of conversations that can go on yes, and go on and on and on. So, I kind of went with, I went with 25,000. 25,000. About 68 four, a day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Martin, what are you thinking? So, I was trying to work out what was included exactly. So if you just take it as an individual one-on-one -on -one message, a lot of these are conversational messages on social media, which I presume wouldn't be counted because they're not an individual message. This is why this guy is so successful. Unbelievable. We, Absolutely we, just forensic. Which maybe. is why I factored in. I thought on a, on a rough, you'd probably have conversations with six or seven people. Some of those would be single, some of those would be multiple. So I went for 30 a day and 30 times 365 is 10,950. <laughs> 950. I mean, great. I Good. 
uh, totally wrong, but there was logic yeah. in it. So your average is 17,975. You've decimated their <laughs> score. Uh, 176,000, 17,000. What do you think at home? What's the answer here? Let's find out how many mobile phone messages do these Britons receive and who has scored the points? 87,000 is yeah, the answer. Yeah, it's not Edith and Martin, 239 a day. Yeah, wow. 239 a day. The national average is, is 90 a day for all age groups. But, uh, yeah, 87,000. Wow. Very well done. Let's take a look at your next question. In feet, how tall is the Las Vegas High Roller, which was the world's largest Ferris wheel when it opened in 2014? In feet. Yeah, it's interesting doing a feet. I quite like that. It's quite yeah. old school, isn't it? That's how I'm doing it, because I have to imagine men laid end to end. Oh, that's exactly what I was doing. So yeah. my husband's yeah. six foot two. So, so how many yeah. of him? <laughs> yeah, many of would, him. With the world's biggest the world's Ferris large, wheel. Yeah. Now, I'm basing this on a previous statistic here on how tall is the Statue of Liberty. No. Oh, yeah. that's clever. Edith, so you're thinking about your six foot two husband and how many <laughs> of him would make the world's largest Ferris wheel. And w where did that lead you? I mean, it's a total just random guess. Yeah. I did put 250 to start with, but I thought that's very close to the last answer that I put. What's with the 25? So I just put 300 and also started drawing a Ferris wheel just to. Nice. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Just to help us out. Yeah. That yeah, people are going, oh, a Ferris wheel. Yeah. I thought you meant like a hamster wheel. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. That's a it's, ferret's wheel. I got stopped doing it halfway through, so it's <laughs> okay. really bad, but... So 300 total feet. Guess, 300 feet. Martin, up or down from 300 feet? Up. Um, I, I first thought it was about 150 metres. I was trying to think the London Eye, which I think is around 100 metres, that would be my guess, and so it's Las Vegas, so it'd be bigger. And then I upped that a bit to 200 metres, which is 600 feet. But I thought, if you guess 600 feet and it's right, everyone thinks you've rounded. Mm. So I thought, I'd guess 578 feet, because if that's right, then I look really, really oh, good. If it's, right, if it's dead right, I'll give you two points. So 578, you reckon. So yep. that's probably about 90 Edith's husbands. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Um, so your average, Edith and Martin, is... 439 feet. Will, you were thinking about the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Where did that lead I you? I think I've realised I missed a zero off the end of my Oh, mum. this is... <laughs> what a round you're having, Will. <laughs> How are you so brilliant at your job, by the way? Sorry, that's really upset with me today. Sorry, I'm really I didn't sure. know I was making a face at you there. No, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't realise my contempt was showing. I was so sorry. Uh, and so... I might have confused my metres <laughs> with okay. as well. So you have said... <laughs> 60, 60 feet. feet. Why, listen. 60 feet. Yeah, like 10 tall men. Yeah. Uh, OK, 60 feet. <laughs> Pretty big, right? Oh, Fern, I'm Children's so sorry. Children's very sweet. <laughs> really listen, up to Fern, it. It's not too... Actually, it's not too bad. OK. So I didn't follow Martin Lewis's sort of Carol Vorderman type <laughs> reasoning. <laughs> I just uh, imagined 30 men standing on each other's shoulders. Okay. Uh, so I picked... Lovely, 180 feet. feet. Sounds yeah. about right. So your average, I think I'll work out, is 120 feet. So we've got 439 feet, we've got 120 feet. What do you think at home on this one? Let's take a look, shall we? How tall is the high roller? Oh. 550 feet. Oh, Martin, you were so close. Wow, Martin, so close. And if you had just rounded it down... No, a little bit more. Yeah, you would have got yourself more. two points. Uh, it's about 100 feet taller than the, than the London Eye. That's big. That's too That's big for a Ferris wheel, yeah. isn't it? Final question in this round. How many driving test centres are there in the UK? <sighs> According to the DVSA, how many driving test centres are there in the UK? Um, well, you're, you've got a chance of glory here, you know that, <laughs> don't you? Listen, <laughs> you've massively count. overshot, you've massively undershot. It yeah. really feels like you've yes. got uh, like a perfect got this. left in you. Sort of feels like there might be a way of working it out, but then I can't work out what that way would be. Martin no. will tell us. Martin will have a way to work it out. I've got a way. A formula. I've, totally wrong, but I've got a way. He's got a way. Always got to have a way, haven't you? Always. OK, everyone is in. What do you think at home? Um, Fern, what was your thinking here? I've always been bad at these uh, number-guessing games. and I got asked how many people had performed to once, and I said, like, 30,000, and it was 3,000. So this <laughs> round isn't going well for me at all. You thought all. you were ten times more successful? Yes, yeah. 1,200. 1,200? That doesn't sound crazy to me. That Just seems... seemed like something I'd yeah, yeah. Will, you up or down? I'm down, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. like your policy. Hold on, wait, hold on. I mean, literally. So it could be anything. So I went for five. 
hundred, and then I went for six, yeah. and then I thought, make it to an eight. Lovely. Oh, so no, I kind of stepped it up. That's how you work stuff out, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Just change yeah. the first. Change you keep the first changing number. it. Eight hundred. So eight. That seems right. A thousand mm -hmm. as an average. A thousand. That, that doesn't seem cr for the first time this round, Will. That doesn't seem crazy. Thank you. That's something. And isn't it's it? a nice average. It's a really it? nice Thank average. You, yeah, you're in sync. There we go. Martin, did you have a, a theory for this one? I did. Excellent. So there's there's roughly 65 million people in the country. Mm -hmm. The average life expectancy someone has is 84. Amazing. Oh so God. I worked out there'd be about, on average, around a rough figure 700,000 17-year-olds. And if we think wow. test center is probably doing, uh, you know, 30, 40 tests a day. And so, and then I, I use that as a rough basis to try and get me in, in a scale of magnitude and guess 1500 on the back of it. So 1500, Edith, up or down? So I went for 400, but then I thought I'm gonna, I don't wanna be too clean with it. Mm -hmm. So I changed to 407, cause seven's my favorite number. Oh, lovely, 407. Wow. It makes the average <laughs> lovely as well, cause it means we get half. Nine, Ooh, five, three and great. a half from Edith and Martin. So both figures sound about right, don't they? Mm. I mean, I'm not saying they are, but they, they don't sound unreasonable. What do you think at home on this one? Where have you gone? This is going to be a close one. How many driving test centres are there and who has scored the final point of the round? No. 360. Ooh, it's really close. I should have stuck with my five. Right now. Should've my five. Should have done. 360. Edith, the closest as well. 360. <laughs> Very well done if you're close to that at home. It's the end of that round. Tablets away, please, everybody. Edith and Fern, if you will swap back, please. OK. And we'll take a look at the scores. Very good round for Edith and Martin there. Everybody off the mark, which is what we like to see. Will, you have one. Fern, you've got two. Edith, three. Four-point lead. Martin Lewis on seven. Well played, Martin. Three rounds to go before we find our first champion of the week. Who is it going to be? Let's find out, shall we? Round three today is... Z to A. What I'm going to do now is show you three clues and you have to tell me what connects them, OK? However, I'm going to reveal those clues letter by letter, starting with Z all the way up to A. So, fingers on buzzers. I'm going to show you three clues at a time, but what connects these clues? Here are your first three. Martin. Fireworks. Fireworks. Absolutely. Catherine Wheel, Sparkler and a Roman Candle. Well done. What connects these three, please? Hmm. Martin. Are they types of rock? They are types of rock. Well done. Metamorphic, okay. igneous and sedimentary. Next three. Yes, Will. Uh, are they cities in America? They are not, I'm afraid. Edith. Boroughs of New York. Boroughs of New York. Absolutely right. Here is your next one. Martin. Bread. They bread? They are not. Oh. Will. Are they biscuits? Are they biscuits? No. Burn. Is it types of whiskey? Types of whiskey. Absolutely right. I'm going to give you a point as well, because the first two are definitely types of biscuit, and the third one could sort of be one. You're still no. getting your point. Thank you, you Richard. You can't get a scotch biscuit. <laughs> Here are your next three. Yes, Edith. Flags? Are they flags? Very well done. Blue Peter, Jolly Roger, Union Jack. Well played, Edith. All flags. Final question in this round. What connects these? <laughs> yes, oh, Will. No. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. No. No idea. Time you out. Martin. Is it? Characters in Romeo and Juliet. Is it characters in Romeo and Juliet? 
Very well played, Martin Makushev, Tibble, and Lady Capulet. It's the end of that round. Let's take a look at what that has done to the scores. Will, you have two. Fern, you got three. Edith, five. The lead getting a little bit bigger. Martin Lewis, money saving expert, 10 points. Well done. <laughs> so some compound interest you've got going on there, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> two rounds to go. Five point lead can be caught up in two rounds, I can guarantee you that. But if you carry on like that, Martin, you could be our first champion. Round four today is. Richard's junk. I'm going to show you a picture now of Richard's junk. I want you to take a very, very close look and remember everything you are about to see. You will have 15 seconds. And they are some pocket watches, a domino, a bolt, a sunflower, a queen of hearts card, a knight chess piece, some marigold gloves, a jack in the box, ratatouille, and some trolls. Time up. Fingers on buzzers, please. I'll ask you some questions. And the answers are all something you've just seen. OK, here's your first one. Miley Cyrus and John Travolta provided voices for which 2008 animated film? Yes, Martin. Trolls. Is it Trolls? It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Edith. Ratatouille. Ratatouille? Yes. Yeah. It's also incorrect. No. Anyone else? Shall I tell you the answer? Yeah. Yeah. Bolt was oh. the answer. Oh. The white dog, Bolt. Next question. What is the common name of the target ball known as a kitty in the game of bowls? Yes, Martin. Knight. Is it knight? It is not. Yes, Will. Queen. Is it the queen? That is incorrect as well. Shall we find out? The Jack. Jack. Oh, Jack in the box. Of course it is. Hmm. Next one. The 1931 painting, The Persistence of Memory, features melting what? Burn. Watches. Watches? Yeah, pocket watches. I'll give you that. The pocket watches. Stanley. Burn. Absolutely. Yeah. Watches, oh, the answer there. Next one. Jesse J had a UK number one in January 2012 with which single? Yes, Will. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts? Oh, it's a good guess. <laughs> it's not the Queen of Hearts, but uh, it sounds like one, doesn't it? Anyone? You got this one at home? Let's take a look. The answer is... Domino. Domino. Ah. The answer. Next one. In chess, which piece starts on the squares D1 and D8? <laughs> yes, Edith. The knight. Oh. Is it the knight? Oh. It's not, I'm afraid. <laughs> yes, Will. I'm going to have to time you out. I'm so sorry. Oh, my mind's gone blank. Got a buzzer race. Burn wins the buzzer race. The Queen. The yes. Queen is the correct oh, answer, Burn. Well done. Well done. Queen. Queen. Next question. What is the state flower of Kansas? Will. Is it sunflower? Is it sunflower? Get in. There we go. Nicely done. Final question. An Arthurian legend, Galahad had which honorific title? Yes, Edith. Knight. Knight is the correct answer. Very oh, well done. Terrible man. Now, there's a bonus point for anyone who can remember the three remaining items. Edith. Ratatouille, gloves and trolls. Ratatouille, gloves and trolls? Wow, well done. That is the end of that round. We've only got one round to go. Who is going to be our Monday champion? Let's take a look at our final leaderboard before we go into Answer Smash. It has closed up a little bit. I said that five-point lead wasn't uh, impregnable. You're still in the lead, Martin, but by less. Will, you have three. Fern, five. Edith, seven. Three-point lead. Martin Lewis. Well played, Martin. <laughs> Get an eyebrow raise. So it is time for that final round, which, of course, is... Answer smash. Things on buzzers, point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Don't forget, in this round, the only time on this show you can lose a point. Oh. Your first category is... Award-winning actors. Those will be the pictures. There'll be a clue above, there'll be a picture below. Smash them together. Best of luck, one and all. Which baseball player was also known as the Bambino? Yes, Fern. Babe, Ruth. 
I know her surname. <laughs> now would be a great time to prove that. Jones. Oh, no, it's Babe Ruth Jones. It is not, I'm afraid, Edith. Babe Ruth Wilson. Babe Ruth Wilson. Very well done, Babe Ruth Wilson. Well done if you got that at home as well. Here is your next clue and your next picture. Which Britpop band released their debut studio album Definitely Maybe in 1994? Edith. Oasis Spacek. Oasis Spacek, easy for you to say. Oasis Spacek, well done, Oasis and Sissy Spacek. Next clue, next picture. In 1987, Anne Robinson began presenting which TV series featuring viewers' letters about BBC programmes? Yes, Edith. Uh, points of Ewan McGregor. Oh, very good. Wow. Points of Ewan McGregor, <laughs> nicely done. Very well played. Next category. Summer holiday items, the pictures. There'll be a clue above. Which duo who appeared in Biker Grove have presented their Saturday night takeaway since 2002? Yes, Martin. Ant and Deck Chair. Ant and Deck Chair. That's the right answer. Well done. Ant and Deck, deck Chair. Nicely played. Next clue, next item. Which weather related George Harrison song opened side two of Abbey Road? Yes, Edith. Here comes the suntan cream. Here comes a suntan cream. Absolutely right. Here comes a suntan lotion. Here comes a suntan cream. Well played, Edith. This is a good <laughs> round, I have to say. Next clue, next holiday item. Joey Essex appeared on the 2020 edition of which TV series that reunites single holidaymakers with their former partners? Yes, Martin. X on the beach ball. X on the beach ball. Well played, Martin. X on the beach and beach ball. Nicely done. Your next category is... <laughs> We're done for Monday. We are done... For... Well, what a round for Edith. Blimey, Martin got a couple as well. You had that three-point lead. Who has won on Monday's House of Games? Let's find out, shall we? Who's our first champion? I know it's going to be close. Our winner is Martin Lewis by one point. <laughs> Very well done. Very well done. X on the beach ball winning it for you at the last <laughs> second there, Martin. It's the only time I'll ever be doing that programme. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Martin, you won yourself a prize. Let's take a look at what you've got here. What would you like to take home with you? It's got to be the robe. Got to be the robe. Be the Martin robe. Lewis Thank takes home so the much. House of Games robe. Well done, Martin. Nicely played. And uh, we'll take a look at our first leaderboard of the week. Martin taking the maximum four points through. And there's Edith for three, Fern with two, and Will with one. Well, listen, you said it would be competitive, and it was competitive. <laughs> uh, very nicely done. Well played, Martin. Thank you. Big lead as well. Brilliant comeback from uh, Edith at the end as well. But points for everybody. Shall we do it again tomorrow? Yes. yes. Excellent. Well, look, I'll see you all here, same time, same place. We'll see you as well, same time, same place, on the House of Games. <laughs>